Hi everybody, it's JoJo and I'm here to do a makeup tutorial. So today's makeup tutorial is going to be called the Under the Sea Mermaid Lagoon makeup tutorial. So um, I'm going to show you my tank because it's too cute. I got it at Hot Topic. It says Little Mermaid has Ariel Flange and Sebastian on the front of it. It's a light blue tank top. Um, yeah, so I have this light blue bracelet on. Okay, so fragrances of the day, the cream is going to be Beach Nights, and the mist is going to be Beach Nights. Um, because I really don't have aquatic, ocean, like, watery, fresh, clean scents. Um, I would have loved, like, you know, Bath & Butter does so many of those, but I have none of those. The only the one that comes close is Beach Nights. This is Toast to Marshmallow, Sea Soul Breeze, Mora's Aqua, Beach Drift, Fruit and Cream Vanilla. So it has, like, that oceany sea sold freshness in it with the sweetness so that's why i love this scent so much so i'm going to be using beach nights for my under the sea mermaid lagoon sorry okay so the palettes i'm going to go is when i think of mermaid or under the sea or like a lagoon i think of um blues and greens right so we're going to go into blue blood and blood money today that's what we're going to go into today um i have a lot to talk about oh my god like too much shit has went on. It's really hot. It's the hottest day today I'm filming this makeup tutorial. It's the hottest freaking day. And I have the AC blasting. So I'm gonna have to talk a little louder. Okay, so I have to go quick though because I have a um, a, nail, a nail appointment. I have to get my nails done. My nails are horrendous. So I have to get my nails done. Um, I don't even know where to begin with this video. It, 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 there's just so much shit that happened to me since the last makeup tutorial I filmed, which wasn't too long ago. It was like, what, two, three days ago? Unbelievable. Okay, so I just want to let you know, this is inspired by The Little Mermaid, but it's not really The Little Mermaid. It's more so, even though I'm wearing Little Mermaid tank top, and I'm going to be talking about the movie in this, um, the live action movie in this video. However, this is more so just a general, generic mermaid, um... I look I want to do or I can just be called like something you wear to the beach or the ocean or think of like going under the sea type of thing I want to capture that moment where you're like at the beach and you're under the sea and you're with the seaweed and you're putting with the fishes and the mermaids I'm trying to find all my brushes that I'm gonna use um, so I have like an hour, which which I normally that's how much it, long it takes anyways. These makeup tutorials is an hour. Okay, so where do I goddamn begin? Um, okay, I'll start with um, I guess I'll start with Little Mermaid. Why not? I'll start with Little Mermaid. So um, I did go. I did finally get to see the movie in the theaters. Finally, finally got to see it. I saw it by myself. Um, So I th let me go. Let me look at both of the palettes and see. I may delve into blue blood a little more. I'm trying to. Mm. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, actually, I'm gonna go into blood money first and go into the shade heavy weighted. I don't think I've ever used this shade before. It's like a bluish green. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to talk about how I feel about the movie, and then I'm going to talk about the drama that happened in the movie theater. So I saw the movie, and from what I could hear and see, girl, I'm going to tell you the drama. Hold on. I'm going to tell you the drama. I just let me talk to you about the movie first. So, um, first of all, that actress... I'm gonna tell you this right now. That actress they chose, they knew exactly what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were doing choosing that actress. Okay, they couldn't have chosen a better actress. I don't care. I don't care who it was, white, black, Indian. They could not have chosen a better actress. They could not have. She was phenomenal. Not only was her voice amazing, her acting. She's so talented and she's so beautiful. It was. It's like ridiculous how amazing she was in this movie. How, um, it really was like I don't even know like it was like one of the best like live action films next to I really like the live action film of Aladdin 
And I also like the live action of Beauty and the Beast. Um, this one though is probably like in first place with Aladdin because it's like, it, it was that good. So, um, they expanded the movie, they had to because um, the cartoon is only 90 minutes, not even, it's, it's like an hour and 20 minute long movie. So they had to expand it to make it a longer movie, which I understood, they added a couple new songs. Um, some I liked, some I didn't. Um, they they definitely expanded it, and I liked, they told more of like the, um, they just added more of the story to it. You know what I mean? They added more to this, which I like what they do with the live action, because they do add more of a story to it. Um, and they just was basically just like, you know, they said Ariel's mother died of, um, by a, by a human. Ursula is Ariel's aunt and King Trident's sister. Um, I also think Melissa McCartney did an amazing job as Ursula. I think that she, she, dan she did the damn thing. She did the damn thing. I have to say, like, she gave me the goosebumps. Her and Ariel were the two, were the two shining, the chi two shining stars in this film. I also liked the person who played Prince Eric. He's, of course, who's hot as hell. But um, Melissa McCartney and Halle Berry, I think her name's Halle Berry. Those two, unbelievable. Un unbelievable performances. Uh, they need to win awards for that. They need to win awards. Um, Okay, so now I'm gonna go into Blue Blood and go into the shade um, Cremated, which is like a very dark greenish blue. They really did that. I liked how they told more of like this love story between Ariel and Prince Eric. I thought that was cute. Um, you know, there was more of a story to them. Like it, was, it wasn't just, didn't just happen overnight. Oh my God, I got a fucking, of course, I already got makeup on my fucking chin. I can't even take my life. What a mess I am. Goddamn mess. Can't take me anywhere. <laughs> yes, they expanded their story. Some of it was word for word, of course. It's a retelling of the cartoon. Um, but I really liked how they added the, like small details like our Prince Eric gave um, this little mermaid statue to Ariel and said it was like, oh, it's his little mermaid. I thought that was cute, you know what I mean? Um, other things, there were there were some things I liked more in the cartoon, but there were some things I liked more in the live action. Like, like the only really other things are like, okay, I liked the ending better in the cartoon. I liked how they got married on the boat and they sailed off into the sunset, opposed to the live action, the ending was I, I, it was just them in a boat and they just sailed off. Um, just him, her and Eric just sailed off in this small little boat and I don't know where the hell they were going. Um, but no, it was really good. Um, it was really, really good. To be honest with you, like, I'm really glad I saw it. I'm gonna talk about the drama though, but um, I do want to talk a little more about the movie. Um, the singing was great. I like a couple of the new, some of the songs I feel like wasn't either. Like I didn't like the, um, when she first gets her legs and she's singing to herself in her head or what I thought that song wasn't necessary. And there was a song that Scuttle sang, which I didn't think was needed either. I think they were just adding, thing, adding things just to expand the movie to make, the, make it longer. They were just filler scenes. They did not need to be there. Um, the acting was exquisite. I did like Prince Eric's song. He has a good song. I actually downloaded his song on my iPod. Like, I like that song. I think it's called Uncharted Waters. But I got the feels, like, you know what I mean? I knew I was gonna get the feels because it was like the acting. I got like the goosebumps, like that whole... Most of that movie was like 
was like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even have the words. It was so good. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of what else happened in the movie. Um, in the movie. I'm trying to remember. I remember I'm trying to think of like the differences um I'm trying to think there really wasn't many other differences I would say like like it was just like the acting was so good and Disney's magic I don't know how they did it under the sea like that like I was, was like how are they gonna do this how are they gonna make it look like they're really under the sea but they did it was like unbelievable it was like literally their Disney magic that I don't know how they do it. CGI, man, it was really good stuff. Um. Yeah, they put some good characters to be to play the parts. Like they really did. They they did a good job choosing who they chose for the um for the parts, honestly. Um anyone who had doubts. Oh, it's gonna be black air, I was gonna be like You haven't seen the movie yet, I promise you. Once you see the movie you'll understand, you'll love it. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Oh, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna go into now. Hold on. Go back into Blood Money and I'm gonna go into Now we're going to Chameleon Fetish. Let's go lime green. Why not? Why not? Should I go into that one? No, it was that one. It's a little more yellow than I would have hoped. Maybe I shouldn't have went into that one. I'll light, you know what, I'll lighten it with another color. I'll light it with another color. I'll, try to, yeah, I'll do a, a, another color on top of that. Okay, so let me talk about, let me try to think. Is there anything else I want to talk about about this movie before I start the drama that happened in the movie theater? Um, no, I, I, I recommend the movie, go see it. Go see the movie, it's really, really good. Um, I definitely recommend it 100%, 100%. And I can't wait for it to come back on to Disney Plus, to come on to Disney Plus so I can watch it again. Um, yeah, if I think of something else about the movie, I'll tell you later on in the video, but right now, that's all I really have to say about it. Um, her singing is phenomenal. It gives you goosebumps and the acting is phenomenal. This movie needed to be made. I loved how they had the mixed couple. I loved how they made her black and him white. I, I really loved the whole, the whole thing. Okay, so let's talk about the drama. So the part of the reason why I really wanted to see this movie in the theater was because I didn't want to get any type of weird people. Because the thing is, you don't know who you're going to get in the movie theater when you see the movie. You have no idea who you're going to get. It's kind of like the luck of the draw. It's kind of like, are you going to get someone who is loud? Are you going to get someone who coughs throughout the whole thing? Are you going to get someone who's on their phone the whole time, jumping up and down, going in and out of their chairs? Like... You don't know who you're going to get. And I got the worst of it all. So um, so how I even really enjoyed the movie is, is a miracle to me. I bet I did. Um, so what happened was... I think, should I go into another green? I feel like I should go into... Or maybe I should go into another... 
So I'm gonna go into a blue. I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into ice cold and put that on top. Fuck it, I'm just gonna do that. So there wasn't many people in the movie theater, but there was a couple of couples, like, you know, like couples, and then there was this group of little girls um, with this teenage older sister or was a mother, I don't know who it was. It was, I don't know. It was definitely, it was a, like a bunch of little girls and this, this woman who's I guess was the adult watching them I don't know so they treated this movie theater these little girls like it was their own living room I have to be honest they had a full course meal a full course meal I don't even know what they were eating because it was so late at night and like I don't I don't think there was much food left in the um the snack stand you know in the, in the thing so I don't know what they were eating they were chomping down the whole movie is it it was over a two-hour movie the whole time I heard eating nan nan like that's all I heard the whole time. I'm like, when are they gonna stop eating? Like they're little girls. How long, how much are they gonna fucking eat? They're eating like seven foot men. Like Jesus Christ. So other things they were doing, they were talking the whole time. They were talking the whole time. They were having their own full blown conversation. Like they were in the locker room at school. Like they were just talking about the boys that they were flirting with in school. They were talking about this, the other thing, a girl they were fighting with. This They were talking about everything under the sun. These are like, I don't know, eight, nine year old girls, I would say. They wouldn't stop, it was the whole movie. And they were snapping pictures of themselves. They were taking their phone and they were like, all I saw was flashing. Like they were taking selfies in the chair. I'm like, who the fuck does this? I don't care if you're little or you're old or whoever you are. Who th does that? Like, I don't understand that. I've never seen kids act like that in a movie theater. I've never seen this. Then they kept jumping up and out of their chairs, running in and out of the bathroom, running in and out of the bathroom. I saw one of them in the women's bathroom. I should have just scolded them right there, but I didn't. I should have probably said something, but I didn't want to because like, I feel weird, like, talking to little girls, like, you know what I mean? Like, telling them, shut up, don't talk about them, you know what I mean? So I was like, let, like, I, I needed to tell the parent figure, whoever the fuck it was, because it was like, they weren't stopping, and no one else was saying anything in the movie. There was a couple of the couples, and no one was saying anything. They were acting as if this, this three-ring circus wasn't going on in the side, in the side of the movie theater. They had, they were acting as if this wasn't going on, and I'm just like, how are you ignoring this? Like, they're so loud, and they're so obnoxious, these kids. How are you not, like, like saying anything? Because I finally had enough. I was like, you know what? I can't, I can't do this anymore. I really can't. It was like, it was like literally the middle of the movie. It was at the part where she got her legs. Like she just got her legs. So it was like within the middle of the movie. So I was like, but I really had enough because it was like, how long am I gonna sit there and hear this bullshit? So I walked over to them, and I said to the girl, I said, you stop on your phone because. There's no reason to take selfies in the movie theater. It's pitch dark in here. It's enough. And I said, are you with the, the, like, who's the adult figure here? And she was just, like, staring at me, like, looking like whatever. And I was just like, I want to talk to the adult figure. So then I saw this woman. She was sitting with a hoodie on. Um, and I was just like, are you the, are you, like, the, the adult? And she's like, yeah. I said, can you please tell the kids or whoever they are to you, sisters or your friends, whoever it is, can you tell them to stop? Because it's being obnoxious and like, it, I'm really hard to pay attention to the movie and this is not okay. And she just was like, sorry. But she didn't say sorry, like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take a handle of it. She was like, give it a good attitude. She's like, sorry. And I was like, okay. And obviously I'm not gonna argue with her in the middle of the movie theater while the movie was going on. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Had, had I done this all over again, I would have left the theater and told the manager and said, you have to come in here and scold these people because they're not stopping. So after I told the woman to stop, I sat back down in the chair and they still were going. They were continuing, right? I said, this is still completely fucked up. This is not okay that still throughout this entire movie, they're they're not letting up. Like how are you, any, like you're, you bought, you, like I don't know these girls. I don't understand these girls. Like it's a little mermaid. You sit, you wanted to see the movie obviously because you paid, you went in to see the movie and you're not even gonna watch it? Like, what's the point of that? I knew I was gonna, this is why I didn't wanna see the movie in the movie theater, because I knew I was gonna get some shit. So, after the movie ended, 
I was pissed. I was really pissed. I really was pissed. I sat through the whole movie. I watched it. I liked it, but I was pissed. So I went over to the manager at the movie ended. I said, listen, I sounded like such Karen throughout this whole conversation, but I don't even care because rightfully so. I was like, listen, what just happened in that movie theater? I know you don't know, but I'm about to tell you. I told him the whole story. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now I'm going to blow my nose a million times. Jesus Christ. Okay, I like how that's coming out. So, now I'm going to go into Blue Blood and go into Entitled. I said, listen, I don't like the way... That was not okay. I think there should be people monitoring the movie theaters. They used to be that. There used to be someone in a flashlight monitoring the movie theaters every so often and seeing if there's any ruckus going on in the theater. They should still do that because this is not okay that they was allowed to do that throughout the entire movie. And even after I went over to them and told them to stop, they still continued the shit. So, you know, these... And I felt weird going over to them because they're just a bunch of little girls. You know what I mean? I felt weird, but I had to still say something. But anyways, I told the manager the whole story. He was like, listen, we physically can't give you... Because I said I want my money back. He's like, we can't give you your money back because you sat through the whole damn movie. I said, I understand. But I said, I deserve a gift card. I deserve a movie ticket, a free movie, something. Because I literally had to enjoy that whole thing. And it's not right that I had to sit there and not fully enjoy the movie when there's no... They're not supposed to be doing that in a movie theater. They, they're not, they're not, you know what I mean? Like, that's not okay. And he was like, we could give you a movie ticket so you can come back in for free and watch the movie again or watch any movie you want for free. And he gave me a movie, t a free movie ticket. And I said, thank you. Because I wasn't going to leave that movie, that movie theater without getting something in return because that was fucking buffoonery going on in that movie theater and that was not right by any means. And... But had I done it all over again, I would have a hundred million percent went over to, um, I would have left the movie theater, went over in the middle of the movie, I don't even care. I would have, I went into um, the manager, I said, come in and scold these people because it's not okay. You would have turned into a full blown brawl in the middle of this movie that I will, well, you know, Halle Berry is like belting out part of your world. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna, by the way, there was a huge argument and fight that happened in a showing of The Little Mermaid. Um, like a few weeks ago, there was a huge fight that actually someone just kind of recorded it. And it was crazy. Um, so whatever, it is what it is. I got my free movie ticket. It is what it is. I may go back and see the movie again. I probably won't. I'll probably just go. Uh, maybe I'll see the Barbie movie. With the free. I don't know. Um, but anyways, that's on that. That's all I want to tell you about that. Um. So. Yeah, the movie was great. I ended up watching it. I ended up enjoying it for the most part, even though it was very hard to. I was really trying so hard to tune them out, but it was really hard because they were like literally, they were putting on their own little movie, their own little show in the side of the fucking theater. Like they were putting on their own, and they literally sat in the middle. They had to be dead center of the movie theater. They sat in the best seats in the center of the movie theater just to cause this fucking circus. It was unbelievable, unbelievable. I surely will never forget it. I just never forget it. Okay, let me go back into I'm going blood money, blue blood. I mean blood money, blue blue blood, blood money. So I'm going to now go back and forth here. Now I'm going to go into Shit, I got a band out. I'll probably go into this. I'm going to go into Poison Ivy. Which is a seek from green. That like in the inner corner there. Okay, so let's move past this. Let's now move on to um Ubi Eats. I want to talk about Ubi Eats because I've been having Ubi Eats for years. I was a supported customer and I've been having nonstop problems with the app for a long time now. I finally had enough and I deleted the app and I went on to DoorDash. So, but before I went to DoorDash, this is what was going on. So there was a lot of incidents where, um, you know, I ordered something and um, I got the wrong delivery. 
I got the wrong delivery. And then when I tried to contact the Uber driver, they never picked up. So I got this food that I'd never ordered. That happened, qu that happened quite often, actually. Um, Uber Eats, I will say Uber Eats was good with giving you your money back and giving you your refunds. I will say that. But I feel like how many times am I going to ha have get refunded until I fuck fucking have enough? So there was another situation where I ordered from Panera Bread and it, there was this delivery guy that went to go pick up the, the order. He disappeared. Then a new one came. Then he disappeared. Then a new one came. Then he disappeared. And I'm like, I finally had enough. And I called up the um, the app and I said, why are there like seven Uber drivers that have went to go pick up my meal and they've just disappeared? Like, what's going on? And... They would just say, oh, that's their bad. They should have told you the food is not, there's no food. What they have is, um, they, they, the food that I ordered, the restaurant doesn't have. So they, okay, so they never contact me. And the restaurant too, is, they're, they're bad too. I was like, so the restaurant never contacted me, so they never had, they didn't have the, the food that I ordered. And then the people picking up the order never said, oh, by the way, your food is not gonna be there because of whatever, so. So neither one of them did. So what the fuck is that about? So I would say they both were wrong. I would blame Uber Eats, the delivery drivers, the multiple ones that tried to pick up my order. And I would also blame the restaurant Panera Bread. But the time I had enough, I literally had enough. There was another time, oh my God, I don't know if I told you guys this. This was really fucking horrible. In fact, this this should have been the time I had enough. It was actually a year to this day. It was the 4th of July, I'll never forget. It was last, last summer, the 4th of July. And I ordered food off the app. I forgot what I ordered. Oh no, some just fast food because it was really late at night. It was probably like uh, White Castle. I have no idea. Taco Bell, whatever. So I get this obscene message from this guy. He goes, he texts me, or messages me on the app. He goes, you ain't getting your food tonight. What you're gonna get is this big dick in your mouth. I'm gonna make you choke and eat this fucking big dick. And you're gonna suck on these low hanging huge balls too. And I'm like, excuse you? He goes, yeah, come get this dick. You wanna eat something, you want some food? Come eat this dick. So I immediately contacted Uber Eats and I sent, I sent them a screenshot of the message. And I said, look at this, look at what, just sent, what this guy just sent me from your app which you hired to de deliver my food. He knows my address. He sexually harassed me. He knows my address. I don't know if he's gonna come here and, and try something, but he knows my address because you gotta put your address down on the thing. He go, they go, oh my God, I'm so sorry. This is not okay. We don't accept this. We're gonna fire him immediately. Um, we blocked him from all communications from you and from the app. So he can no longer work in this app or he can't do anything with the app anymore. We completely let him go. So, but I was really weird out and scared by that situation. I was really like, oh my God, like I, I don't know what to do. Like I was really scared, but I decided to stay on the app because they did refund me and they did, you know, they did, um, yeah. That guy did leave me alone after that. So they probably, they definitely took care of the situation. So I stayed on the app, but that should have been my last hurrah with them. There was another situation where I ordered food, right? And I opened up the door and I said to the person, just leave it in the front, the front of the house. That's what I say all the time with my mom on the, when I order, it's right there. You know, there's an option, leave in front of the door. That's what I do. I hear my front door open. I'm in the kitchen, you know, putting the plates, getting ready for the food to come, putting the plates, you know, down and forks and taking the forks out. I hear my front door open. And a bag just gets flops, thrown in, in, on, in my front door, in my um, foyer. He goes, delivery, and then he runs away out of the out of the door. I'm like, whoa, if you are not supposed to come into my house and drop the food off like that. Like, that is not okay. Um, I thought I was under attack. Like, I really did. Like, the way he threw the bag on the floor and everything, I really was like, oh my God, like, who just entered my house? Like, I'm literally about to take a knife out and literally, like, I'm here with a knife. Like, who's there? Like, you know what I mean? It's really scary. So yeah, I had so many problems with this app, but the prop, the re most recent, the one I was like, enough's enough. I ordered Pizza Hut. <laughs> I do like my late night, you know, munchies. 
ordered Pizza Hut and I was real looking forward to this pizza. I was so hungry. I ordered this pasta dish and the pizza. I haven't had pizza in a long time. I was really craving it. And I was starving like to the point where I was about to faint. I was like, please give me this food like on oh, my last dying breath here. Yeah. The food says it got delivered. I look at my front of the house, it's not there. Where is the food, right? Where is this food? It says it's delivered, I don't see it. I don't see the food. I see the photo he sent, cause you have to take the photo, you have to take a picture of the food and send it to the person. So he takes a picture, he sends it to me. I open the photo to a house I don't recognize. The food is delivered in front of this doorstep that in this neighborhood, I don't recognize at all. Like it's not my house. It's nowhere near my house. I try contacting him, no response. So I called him with Eats, had a bitch fit. And um, they're like, oh, we're so sorry. I said, well, I'm so I'm not getting my food. They go, no, you're not. So I'm like, well, what happened to the food? It's just gonna, the fam, whoever was, is gonna wake up in the morning and see fucking Pizza Hut in their doorstep. They could be like, what the fuck is this? Like, they were, she was like, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. She's like, you're not gonna get your food, but we're gonna give you your money back. And they did, they did refund me. And that's when I had enough. I was like, enough's enough. I even told them, I said, I hope this is getting recorded because I'm never ordering from you guys again. This has been the millionth issue I had with you guys. I was sick and tired of it. So I deleted and went on to do I dash and I haven't had one problem since, knock on wood. So that's on that. So I would recommend do I dash or Grubhub, don't do Uber Eats. It's, it's, it, there's been nonstop problems and it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth the hassle. There was just too many issues and no one's got time for that when you're starving and you're hungry and you're and you, and you gonna have to have all that drama. No one wants that while they're sitting waiting for their food. They don't, you know what I mean? Well, my under eyes is a mess right now. Holy hell, I gotta go clean that up. Oh, <laughs> is that fling? This is why I hate greens and blues because they're a bitch to work with. You have to like really, man. Oh my God, it's such a mess. There you go, blow my nose. I have to blow my nose, excuse me. And then I'm gonna talk about a recent shit that, so much shit to talk about. You see this, so much shit. Excuse me, I'm sorry guys. I know this is gross and um, but I gotta blow my nose. I always gotta blow my nose, it's fucked up. Mm. By the way, I stopped watching I stopped watching Melrose Place. I'm not watching anymore. I, I don't like the show. I, don't, I didn't really give it a fair chance, uh, you know, I really didn't, but it's not as good as Beverly Hills on it too. I already know when it, where, where the direction it was going and I really wasn't feeling the show and I really didn't like the characters as much. So I, I stopped watching it. I'm not watching it. Maybe I'll get back to it one time in my life. I don't know, but right now I'm not watching it. Anyway. So last night, I downloaded this new dating app because I'm literally, I'm at the edge of my rope. Like I'm at a dead end. I'm really like on my last dying breath here. We're trying to date and trying to get these dating apps. They're, they're all a mess. So, this is my last, really my last hurrah with, with just trying, really putting myself out there and trying, cause it's just like, it's just been nonstop, you know, just all buffoonery. So I downloaded this new app that's supposed to cater towards dating trans, LGBTQ people or trans women, like, or trans or whatever, people who look like me or non-binary. So then I was like, oh my God, we finally have an app. Like, this is so cool. And I was like, okay, so now I can finally like, you know, find someone that wants me, you know? And that just wants to fuck me and leave me on my way. Like they want to date me, right? So this guy messages me, he's pretty cute. Um, yeah, he's pretty cute. And right away he was like, oh, let's go talk on the phone. I said, of course, yeah, let's do that. Let's talk on the phone. I don't mind talking on the phone.
And then he was like, um, So then we were talking on the phone, you know, we, he called me, and we were talking on the phone, and right off the rip he sounded weird, like he was sounding like a nut job, like he was trying to make these jokes, they weren't funny. Every time he tried to make a joke and it didn't land, he was like, why didn't you laugh? I made a joke. You're supposed to laugh. And I said, I didn't realize you made a joke. Like literally, he's, the jokes he was making was not funny, I don't even know, I, I'm trying to remember like what the fuck he said that was like, oh, he said, he was like, oh, where are you from? I said, Staten Island. And he said, you know, I said, where are you from? He said, Long Island. I said, oh my God. He goes, we're both from trashy dumpster places. And I was like, oh, okay. And he was like, why didn't you laugh at that? It was a joke. And I was like, it wasn't funny. So anyways, so yeah, he was just acting like a nut job, but he was cute. So I wanted to give him a chance or whatever. I was my first tryout on this app. Then he goes, he kept, he kept saying like, yeah, he identified as straight. He was just saying like, by the way, I love vagina. I love, I love vaginas. I love it. He was saying like, I love it. I love it. He was making a song out of it. Like, he was trying to sing. He was like, I love vaginas, vaginas. I'm like, okay, like what's the point of this conversation? Like why, why are you telling me this? Like, why are you singing me that you love vagina? Like what, what's the point of that? He goes, oh, um, he goes, let me see you. I want to see you. I'll Uber to you right now. It's Uber right now. I said, it's three o'clock in the morning. It's really late. I'm not looking for fun. He goes, I'm not looking for fun either. I just want to see you. Let me Uber to you right now. I said, no, I'm exhausted. I'm in bed. I worked all the whole day. I'm three o'clock in the morning. I'm, we're going to come over to do what? Like, no, uh, that doesn't even make any sense. He's like, please, please. Like, I really want to see you. Like, I'll do whatever it takes. I said, I don't care. I, 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 I'll I see you tomorrow. We can, whatever. He's like, well, I'm going to New Jersey tomorrow and I'm never coming back. I was like, okay, then don't come back. <laughs> and so he was just like, yeah, let me, let me come over. And I was just like, no, it's not going to happen. He was like, why? Like, like you really don't want to see me? You really don't want me? I was like, it's at the point. Like, I, it's just late at night. He goes, um, oh, by the way, I'm in law school right now. I'm in law school. I'm a lawyer. So you missing out on a real catch. I said, I don't think I am, but okay. He goes, by the way, now that you don't want to see me, I'm just going to go kill myself. And then he hung up the phone. So with that being said, I think the whole thing he was saying was a lie. I don't I don't think he was going to New Jersey tomorrow. I don't think that um, he's in law school. I think he called me from the same asylum. I think he called me from the same asylum. And I think he was playing it off as if he was in law, in law school. He's not in law school calling me. He's he's literally in the insane asylum. And a nurse was about to run into his in his room and inject him with a needle because he needed to be heavily sedated. He was definitely a psychopath. 100%. He, he, there's no way, there's no way he's not, he did not call me from his, from a nut farm. There's no way. There's no way he was out and about in a law school, in a law firm, nonetheless, calling me and telling me that shit. So definitely, um, it was just a bunch of affordery and I blocked him right away. And then of course he downloaded a new a profile and then he messaged me on there to block him on there too. Sick, very sick, very, very sick. Extremely sick. What are you gonna do though? Like there's not much else you can do. It's a shame because he was cute too. But that probably didn't even what he looked like. He probably was probably like different. I don't even know. He probably didn't even look like that. It was probably just catfish too. Sick. Thank God I didn't give him my address. I did give him my address, but I gave him a random address. I gave him a random address to some fucking. I don't even know where I. 
I don't even know where I was. I, I don't know. I don't know if it was like a address to Pizza Hut or McDonald's or Wendy's or a random address. I have no idea. I just made up a random address and I told him that. I hope he didn't go to, to that address because if he did, um, I'm not there. Okay, so where is... Okay, I really have to start like really taking the bull by the horns here because I have to take the bull by the balls because this is just, honestly, I'm taking too long and I have an appointment, so I need to get, get with it. I need to get with it. I'm gonna go into my concealer and literally just like, just go as quick as I can because this is just getting ridiculous here. Back to Little Mermaid, I liked how all her sisters were different ethnicities. There was a Chinese one, there was, you know, the black, white. I like how they were all different. They definitely ended it with um, more so like, like everyone came together, the humans and the mermaids and everyone came together and, you know, is now all, which I think that's happened in the cartoon too. Like they did end it the same way, kind of like, they were like, they were all, but they definitely pressed that more. Like they were like, we accept you, like we love you for who you are, you know what I mean? And they, they really tried to push, which I like it, like, because in this day and age, you just want to be accepted, no matter what you are, who you are, or what ethnicity you are, or what color, color your skin is, or if you have a tomato, mer if you're a mermaid, or whatever you are. By the way, I used to believe in mermaids. Let me talk to you about that. Okay, I have a very embarrassing story. I think I've told you guys this once before on this channel, but I'll tell you again. So I actually thought ogres and mermaids were real when I was a kid. I really did. I don't know why. I didn't think fairies or anything else. I only thought mermaids and ogres were real. So I was on a school trip and there was a swamp. We went like, like a, I don't know, we, we went to like this, I don't know, like this forest that had a swamp and it had like a lake or something, I don't know. <clears throat> and the tour guide was like, does anyone have any questions? I raised my hand, I said, yeah, I have a question. I said, where are the ogres? We're in a swamp, where are the, where are the ogres? And she goes, what the fuck are you talking about? There's no, there's no uggers, what are you talking about? I said, oh, there's no uggers? Well, how about the mermaids? Aren't we about to like go to the lake? Is there mermaids there? And she just was like, what the fuck are you on? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Like, there's no such thing as mermaids and ogre. And I was like, oh my fucking Lord. I was so embarrassed, everyone was laughing at me. I was so embarrassed. Oh my god. It was so embarrassing. It really truly was. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll never forget that. That was definitely in a, one of my most embarrassing moments of my life. And of course, after that day, I knew like mermaids and ogres weren't real. And I kind of was like, oh my god, like why did I have to do that? Like so publicly in front of everyone. I was like, oh my god, like why did that just happen to me? But it did, it did. <sighs> yeah, I believe I believed in Santa Claus too when I was until I was like, I don't know, like twelve. I did have a white imagination when I was a kid, I will have to say. But 
it's really hot today. It's like the hottest day of the whole year. And it's supposed to storm all day. Like it was supposed to, and it's not storming right now. I was like so afraid. I was like, oh my God, is it gonna storm the whole time I'm filming this? But no, it's not storming right now. My makeup is not gonna be perfect today because I have to go quick. It's enough already, I have to go quick. It's enough, I have to go quick now. I'm taking too much time, this is a really long one. And I still have to do my hair. Like it's gonna be a little messy today, but whatever. And I just have to push through it. Just gonna have to push through it. There's nothing else we could do. I'm a perfectionist, but it's not gonna be able to do it today. Okay, I'm gonna go into my liner brush and I'm gonna go into, um, I don't know. What's this called? It's, it's the Secret Stash? And what's this called? Secret Cash? I don't even know. It's, it's metallic. I'm gonna line my lash line with that. This, this color is, uh, I'm gonna go over with something else anyways. Okay. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, okay. You sit there and you talk, you talk, you know? <laughs> I'm trying to keep on my nose. It's just, I have allergies or whatever the fuck it is. I have no idea. All right, um, where did I put that damn brush now? Where are you, bitch? Oh my Lord, where the hell did I put you? There you are, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go into um, Crocodile Tears. It's not good on my lash line. Clean that up with this brush. Yeah, I did a unicorn makeup tutorial. I did a witch one. I'm gonna do a mermaid one. I'm gonna do a lot of like mythical creatures. I like to do my own like little like um, collection of makeup tutorials, like my own little thing, my little series here. This is not gonna be perfect. 
keep saying I was going to recover that I'm trying to perfect it. And it's just like, I need to just move on. All right, so now I'm going to go into um, Ice Crusher. Where the hell are you, grown? There you are. Okay. I'm going to go into this. Okay. And then I'm going to go into Mix the Green and the Blue one. So I'm going to mix Snow Job and Avalanche together. It's a very creamy, buttery formula. It's really metallic and shiny. So, um, the green one, you know, the snowdrop is a green one, and then the avalanche is more of a blue chef, so it's a blue green. Gonna do a blue green in the in the corner there. Okay. That's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the same shades and mix them. I put them at my brow bone here. Highlight the brow bone. You gotta always highlight the brow bone. You can never forget the brow bone. Make it perfect, but it's not ready. All right, I'm gonna do mascara now. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so late to my nail appointments. I'm fucking funny. Really good to do. I'm gonna have to call them up and just tell them I'm gonna be like, I don't think I mind if I'm like 15 minutes late. I can right now. There's nothing else I could do. Can't go in first motion. I only have two hands. Oh, you know what they cut off in the live action film that they didn't put in the cartoon is the whole scene with Sebastian with King with the uh, chef. That whole scene was cut. The whole scene was cut. So I, I kind of like that scene. I wish that was put put in, uh, but I did like how they added um, the parents of Prince Eric. Um, they added that story where he was adopted, a young age, um, from a shipwreck or something, and the king and queen um, adopted him. And the, the other change they made is a small change, but you know how when Paul Fletcher is soul scene when she's signing the thing in blood or whatever she's signing with the pen in the cartoon, she doesn't sign any any document when she signs her voice over to Ursula. 
she takes a fin, she takes one of her scales off of her of her tail and she put it in, the, in the, and then she gave it to her kind of thing. So instead of writing her signature, she gave her one of her scales. Small detail, but it's just a little different. Small little detail. They made small little changes to it. I like the changes they made, the little changes. Another change they made was after she got her legs, she didn't just go ship, you know, go on the shore. She got, she got caught by a fisherman and he brought her back to the island or to the castle. I feel like Scuttle had a bigger part in the live action too than in the cartoon. He had a good part in the cartoon in the live action. He had his own song and he was, he was in more scenes, you know? today but we're just gonna have to roll with it okay oh my god what a mess god does anyone gotta blow their nose as much as i do shit like i go through a million tissue boxes like literally I'm gonna go do it again. Unbelievable. Okay. To all of the shade. I mean, all over, all over powder from the face. So I just made a mess of everything. Everything is a goddamn mess now. Everything is a mess. So now after I made that mess, um, I'm going to do contour and highlight. Okay. Uh, okay, where's contour? Where's contour? Where's contour? Just go quick. Just go quick. highlight I'm going to go into this just to highlight my chest where are you girl so just blame by Jeffree Star uh, Supreme Frost go into that just highlight my collarbone and my chest so that's on that now I'm gonna go into ice crusher and go into oh, should I go into ice crusher you know what? Yeah, I will. I'll do the same thing. Why not? I'll mix the two. Avalanche and Snow Job. Why not? It's a green, aquatic, blue, green, under the sea look today. So we're going to do really go out there. All out. i go all out with the glitz and the glam. Okay, and then I'm going to go into... Um, do my nose highlights. Okay, did my nose highlights. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go into, <clears throat> I'm gonna go into Diamond Wet. Go over that, just to make it extra blinding. Okay, 
And I'm gonna go under the light and clean up my highlight and all that good stuff. I'll be right back. This ice crush shot. He needs to come out with new shades because this is just too bad. Oh, this is so pretty. I don't need that. I need that on me. Let me just clean that up with the. So this is not going to be perfect, but it's fine. I'm just going to go over it a little bit. Actually, no matter what I do, I'm always running late. Always, 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 always. Just never fails. Always running late. Okay, that's just whatever. It is what it is. All right, now I'm gonna do blush. Just a quick little blush. Whatever one I, I'll do sassy pants from ColourPop. First one I see, so I'll just do this one. Setting spray, I'm gonna go into Fix It Stay Over at MAC. Setting spray. Make me wet like I just dipped my head under the water. Yes. Do this. I'm gonna do a very nude, very nude, <clears throat> very very nude. Um, I'm gonna literally just go into this lip liner tie from the ColourPop Clueless line and just like literally just go into that. It's very nude because there's too much going on in the in the face and the eyes. So the lip is gonna be very nude. Should I go into the Daphne lipstick? Let's see. Uh, um, I don't know, whatever, I guess like, I've gone to the Daphne. Line. This is um, called Daphne. This is from Glam Light, their Scooby Doo collection that just came out. A nice pretty summery lip. It's like a light pink coral. It's just a bold lipstick. It's creamy but it goes on matte. Okay. 
Okay, and then um, gloss. Um, what gloss am I gonna use? I guess I'll just mix. Should I just put? I'm gonna put Beaded Glass by Jeffree Star and I'm gonna mix it with the Kylie Glass called Always Shining. I'm gonna put it in these. Fuck it, I just not need that, it's fine. Okay, oh, Fragrance of the Day Beach Nice by Bath & Body Works. I love this scent. It's one of my favorites. Very like oceany sea salt freshness with that creamy vanilla marshmallow. And of course, the cream is going to be Beach Nights. So here's my Little Mermaid or Under the Sea Mermaid Lagoon makeup tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. So here it is. Very, um, Reminds me of seaweed swimming under this ocean with the fishes. Like, it's really mermaid and very aquatic and it's very pretty. So, you got the green and the blue going on in the eyes. Lipstick, highlight, very pretty greenish blue glittery shift. Um, the shirt again, Little Mermaid shirt. Yes, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. And um, yeah, let me know if you saw The Little Mermaid or if you like the movie um, and whatnot. So if you're just gonna wait for it to come on Disney Plus. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Little Mermaid Under the Sea Mermaid Lagoon makeup tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.